Yeah, pause YouTube. What's up? How's it going, everybody? Have for y'all today a pretty good UU Wi Fi battle I had against Frostigar, I believe, off of my Discord. If you guys do want to support the channel, make sure to hit that like button down below and answer the comment question of the day. And if you guys may have missed my first upload today, which was a draft analysis video of the Durham Dragons for our upcoming draft league, which is going to be Wi Fi then make sure to go check that out because we got a pretty awesome draft and that league will be starting next week on the 16th. So I'm using a pretty cool team I got off of Harris's Discord. I'm not too sure who did make the original version of this team. I believe it was Piff, if I'm not mistaken. But if you guys would like to try it out, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. As going into this battle, uh, the main thing I noticed on my opponent's team was that he did not have Stealth Rocks, which was going to be absolutely amazing for me going into this battle. However, though, the offensive core of Darmanitan plus Mega Manetric could be a little bit of a problem, so I'm going to really have to be careful with those two. As he ended up leading off with the Darmanitan, I do end up leading off with my Gliscor turn one. I'm going to immediately go ahead and get on my Stealth Rocks because I want to start applying that pressure to his team because applying offensive pressure is always great to do to be able to put yourself in good positions as this turn I make an aggressive switch directly into my Manetric. Shouts out if you get the nickname reference of my shiny Manetric here as I will go ahead and Mega Evolve this turn thinking that he was going to switch out not wanting to let this Rotom Wash get too weakened so I thought that he was going to try to bring in his own Manetric which is why I actually ended up going for the flamethrower here unfortunately for me he does end up staying in here i'm not sure if he did expect me to over predict or he just stayed in knowing that rotom wash was bulky enough to live any one hit although he does have an alolan muck in the back so i thought that that also might have been a possible switch in for him as this turn i am going to end up going for the bolt switch hoping that maybe he would just want to go for the hydro pump again allowing me to bring in my flame orb guts heracross here and then just click close combat and get a KO because he really has no safe switchings to any guts boosted move coming from my Heracross but he does end up making another really good play there goes for the bolt switch as he bolt switches into Darmanitan this is actually extremely bad for me because I don't really have a safe switch into to this Darmanitan and I don't want to risk bringing in my Latios on a potential U-turn so I'm going to make a middle ground play here and bringing in my Gliscor and that Flare Blitz does entirely way too much damage for my liking and I honestly need to keep my Gliscor around in this match so I'm gonna make a switch into my Latios here expecting him to just safely go for the Flare Blitz once more this isn't entirely too bad because I am starting able to wear down this Darmanitan which is really excellent as this turn, I'm going to expect him to want to go ahead and switch directly into either his Alamomola or bring in his Alolan Muck. This way, if you brought in Alamomola, Alamomola shouldn't be able to do anything to me with a Scald. And then I can potentially go for a Roost or just try to get out my Stealth Rocks again. And if he ends up bringing in the Muck here, I can force him out potentially or beat him 1v1 with the Earthquake. And I do go for the Toxic on the off chance that he did want to bring in one of his two water types as he does actually switch directly here into his Rotom Wash because I'm very positive that this is just going to be a defensive variant of Rotom Wash. I should in theory actually be able to stall out this Rotom and possibly beat him 1v1. Not to mention that his hardest hitting move is going to be Hydro Pump which is only 80 accuracy so eventually he will end up missing a Hydro Pump and then that is a turn that I can take advantage of because I will be at much higher HP than if he were to hit every single Hydro Pump here. So that's just kind of my thought process here. I want to stall out this Rotom Wash because this thing could honestly be a humongous pain later in this match as he hits a second Hydro Pump in a row and I'm thinking alright third time is definitely going to be the charm. He's going to miss this next Hydro Pump and then he's going to be in range of our Toxic should uh, possibly knock him out or I can just roost off the damage after the hydro pump hits me this next turn but uh he does end up hitting three hydro pumps in a row and well what i meant to say was that i can roost up again and then i'll still be able to take a hydro pump but it might have actually been a little bit better than he did hit those hydro pumps because i think my gliscor might have actually ended up being at slightly more hp than it would have been earlier as this turn funny enough he actually does end up missing the hydro pump and 
This was actually really bad for me. I honestly should have left in Gliscor because the fact that this Rotom Wash just went down to the Toxic invites him to just bring in the Alolan Muck, but he actually ends up bringing in the Scizor. And I'm thinking because he brought in Scizor that he's going to try and Pursuit Trap me. So what I'm going to do is just try to get off some damage with the Draco Meteor on this scissor to make it a little bit easier for my team to knock him out but he does just end up making the save play and going straight for the bullet punch as I will be able to bring in my Manetric here and I make another really questionable play uh, the main reason I went for Thunderbolt in this scenario was because I actually did have a chance to knock him out although realistically there was no reason at all that he should have stayed in so what I should have done was 110% gone for the Volt Switch because now this Alola Muck is going to be able to Pursuit Trap me and that is really bad because as an offensive threat Mega Manetric would have been absolutely amazing in this match but now that I've lost it I'm in a very tough scenario although I do still have a solid chance of winning this match it will come down however though to my Gliscor most likely so since Gliscor is the most important team member to me at this moment in the battle I'm gonna go ahead roost up trying to get back up to as much HP as I possibly can so I can be out of range of where Darmanitan will knock me out with a flare blitz and I could try to get myself out of range of where a hidden power ice from Mega Manetric will also finish me off so I'm gonna go ahead get up these stealth rocks because with these rocks being up that is pressure I can apply to mainly the Darmanitan which right now is the biggest issue to my team because I don't really have a good fire resist and as you saw Latios was not exactly a really good fire resist considering that Scarf Flare Blitz wasn't easy to KO. so I'm gonna go ahead and just go for the earthquake here just knocking out this Alola Muck because I know for a fact that if I kept trying to roost up here eventually he would have crit me and then that would have put me in a potentially very bad scenario and it also could have enticed him to save the Alola Muck for later in the match so this way by being aggressive I'm still at a very solid amount of HP and I will be able to knock out the Muck as he does end up bringing in his own Mega Manetric here because I'm very positive that he's going to want to go for the Hidden Power Ice and knowing that after an Intimidate I don't knock him out with the Earthquake even after Stealth Rocks I'm going to make a aggressive switch here directly into my own bandit scissor completely expecting him to want to go for the hidden power ice as he does do so this is nice because i will be able to follow it up with a bullet punch unfortunately i don't have a good switch into this manetric so my best bet at this point is to get off as much damage as i can with this bullet punch and then bring in my glide score tank the hidden power ice and knock him out with the earthquake so that's what i'm going to try to do as he does finish me off with the flamethrower i will be able to bring in my glide score here i am luckily a very spadef bulky glide score and right out of range of where hidden power ice is going to be able to knock me out as an earthquake without me being at minus one will knock out this mega manetric at this amount of hp at this point the biggest issue that i now have to worry about is going to be his darmanitan so my thought process at this moment in the battle was that if he does end up bringing a Darmanitan like he does here, what I can try to do is sack off my Crobat in hopes that the Flare Blitz recoil will end up knocking out Darmanitan because if Darmanitan goes down, I believe that my Heracross could have been able to live a bullet punch from him the Scizor and then I could have knocked them out with a close combat and then Gliscor would have been able to beat Alamomola 1v1 considering that Alamomola would not be able to break through a spadef bulky Gliscor. Unfortunately though this Darmanitan just barely barely lives on like 5% and he's gonna just incinerate my Heracross here and at this point even though yes he does go down to the life orb recoil all i have left is my glide score which there is no chance at this low amount of hp that i will be able to live any hit coming from the scissor which his move to go for is definitely the bullet punch unless he had misclicked there and clicked like u-turn then i don't think there was any way i could have realistically won this point at this point with my glass score being this low so that is going to be the 2-0 victory in my opponent's favor so very good game to frost guard there hopefully you guys did enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button down below and answer the common question of the day of course make sure to go check out the draft analysis of the durham dreadagons in 
in PGBL Season 2. And with that being said, hopefully y'all have had a good weekend, and I will see y'all tomorrow on Monday. So, later everybody, thank you all for watching. No matter where you're at, I'm not here to make friends, it's time to attack And deplete your HP with a final smash Don't make me turn around and pull a six foot hacks <laughs> Six foot, six foot hacks, hacks yeah. Six foot, six foot hacks, hacks yeah. Six foot, six foot hacks, hacks